गुड आफ्टरनून नमस्कार फाइनेंस सेक्रेटरी सोमनाथन जी कंट्रोल जनरल ऑफ अकाउंट्स सोनाली सिंह एडिशनल कंट्रोल जनरल्स शकुंतला जी एंड धरित्री पांडा स्पेशल सेक्रेटरी एनी मैथ्यू कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग कमीशन्स चीफ सेक्रेटरीज रिप्रेजेंटेटिव्स फ्रॉम द बैंक्स स्टेट गवर्नमेंट्स ऑफिशियल्स मीडिया हमें एक्सट्रीमली हैप्पी टू बी हियर एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी have a word in appreciation for the two young people who are really running the show today here <laughs> not to undermine the other but one particular individual is very for me motivating the young man who's all in hindi so i'm telling myself sometime during this entire little interaction that i'm doing with you i should attempt to speak at least two lines without error in hindi and not being self conscious but i really hold uh, the two young people for very smoothly and gently conducting this whole uh, you know meeting these kind of opportunities given to young officers will always be memorable for them and also very motivating for the others so i appreciate the department for having given that kind of a thought in uh, having this meeting conducted by them we are all aware that uh, the azadi ka amrit mahotsav started sometime in uh, march last year 2021 when the prime minister himself went to dandi participated in the salt satyagraha which is uh, uh, remembering the original salt satyagraha which mahatma gandhi had undertaken and from then every week azadi ka amrit mahotsav is being uh, celebrated by departments of government where they are recalling 75 years of how any one particular department has served the people of india and how each department has evolved itself to keep uh, in pace with the time and the need of the day in that process ministry of finance and corporate affairs started its uh, celebration of this uh, azadi ka amrit mahotsav from yesterday when honorable prime minister initiated this whole week for us after which each department is going ahead with their own program and in the morning today we had the corporate affairs ministry doing for their own activities and they had a very elaborate um, picture and also a very elaborate narrative of how the department has evolved how various agencies under it are functioning now one small confession i'd like to make here when we were all sitting and planning um, as to how this whole uh, weekly program one weeks program week long program will have to be taken up and how each department is going to uh, plan up for their own uh, uh, narrative or for their own uh, telling the story of how that department has grown in the last 75 years or contributed and how it uh, evolved itself um, i still have a lot of work to do with expenditure but i'm still going to have to say this expenditure was very hesitant saying what is there for us to say man that is very typical of expenditure and i make it a point every time to draw out and say no expenditure do something this time too the expenditure department felt we are here to make sure that money given is spent and we make a good account and we are we are doing that steadfastly and of course you are steadfastly doing that but shouldn't you want to participate and say how this department has moved from one to another improving uh, in the way in which public finance is being handled um, no I, you know it's very difficult to argue with a finance secretary 
and uh, you you sort of tell after a point oh no i can't he's the you know he's the brain behind the whole ministry we i've got to maintain good relationship then it took a week long again a second week and so on and you'll wonder how we had that much time uh, to be fair it was in november that we were supposed to do this week long celebration and uh, we had a very valid excuse to say sorry we can't do it in november because we are in the verge of preparing for the budget in feb on february 1st we have to do it so please give us some other time so june was given to us so all these arguments have been taking place uh, over the months then came was it march any there are three was it in march that we in the very same auditorium the single nodal account and everything else was done so we went back and said now please you don't have any excuse because this is a singular contribution singular achievement singular responsible way in which you have shown the lead in being answerable for public money in making sure money just in time reaches who needs it the state governments and if you've done this in a very transparent way because you have used technology and repeatedly all these presentations told us how you will know where the money is and who's released it and who's not released it and if it's lying somewhere why is it lying there it's all there for everybody to see it so can they be a better contribution to governance than this where not just the center the states can see it, the state and the unit below it in a three tier democracy elected panchayat tak democracy what better way to be sure that you are being fair open accountable and transparent than this so after that it was fairly easy for me to convince the finance secretary saying you should at least come out publicly and say this is what your contribution is and in the 75 years you have done in at various levels using various different methods but this is a milestone and you should talk about it and therefore today's <laughs> celebration is possible so it's difficult when you're asking for money from expenditure secretary but it's difficult even to say about what you're doing because they have their own perspective no 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 we are here to only really serve nothing more but tell out unless you speak out even the state governments will not know what power this has you're able to say that you're doing your job in a fair way in the federal system that's what you want and it is that which gives you the strength i first of all thank expenditure for having spent all its time people like annie people like garitri sonali um shakuntala and many others are singularly contributing to improving systems each one of you all have attributed your time for it and this kind of an achievement for a complex governance country like india if if it's possible here it is possible in very many other countries as well like the way it is aadhar like the way it is the covin app like the way we have come up with the payment systems upi this for governance is the upi you made every payment easy you made every payment in a jiffy it can happen like that and therefore i think 75 years in the 75th year for department of expenditure to have come up with this kind of a uh, system and a dashboard which we've come up with is absolutely credit worthy and it is important to recognize this so we are talking about one or two or three things all happening in these last two year, three years to this comes the additional work which expenditure voluntarily has joined mission karma yogi to do and that is when the capacity building commission looks at training modules based on that uh, distinctly uh, memorable meeting which honorable pm had with all the administrative service officers 
to see how best bureaucracy can be made a lot more nimble, a lot more efficient, a lot more empowered because you're trained enough to do and adapt to different situations. So the Mission Karma Yogi tasked the Capacity Building Commission to come up with a training module, which was very well explained. It is so built that you grade yourself one after the other and move from one module to a better module, higher module. You cannot just, you know, uh, skip a module or you cannot say, I've finished a module without actually really having finished it. So it has been very well tailored. Capacity Building Commission has really uh, taken this opportunity. And again, expenditure voluntarily went into having this because it gives them the opportunity to have their officers better trained. So again, kudos to expenditure for having readily come up to join into this and having access to the Capacity Building Commission to get this sorted out. So Mission Karma Yogi's one objective of empowering, training, skilling bureaucracy is very well served. And I'm very happy to say, first being through expenditure, first being through Ministry of Finance. So that is a good uh, co uh, cooperative relationship between Ministry uh, of Finance and the Capacity Building Commission. And this mark being marked on the 75th year of independence is something which I'm very happy to be associated with. It is a very positive step. I also appreciate uh, three states, if I remember and recall right, Arunachal Pradesh, Bihar, and one more state which has readily come forward to do the pilot testing and also agree to have it trained. Did you say the three states? Odisha, Bihar, and no, Arunachal Pradesh, Bihar, and one other state was mentioned, saying they've come forward for the training. And I would actually, through this uh, address, uh, request every other state also to go through that because it just gives you a refreshing um, approach to what is being available in this uh, module. Um, this is going to only improve the performance of civil servants. I'm glad today's meeting's format in explaining how this uh, single nodal account and also how the TSA functions, we have brought in the banks and other stakeholders. We have also brought in the states. This is a very important aspect. Because it's one thing for expenditure of finance ministry to come up with a fascinating way of uh, sending money, uh, tracking the money flow, and seeing where it goes, when it goes. But when you have other agencies which are instrumental in making it successful, also coming here and saying, this is how I'm doing it. For instance, for Camera Kendra Bank to come here and speak about it. For instance, State Government Odisha to come here to speak about it just gives a complete reassurance that something which you have designed, something which you have tailored, and something about which expenditure can be sure that it is a very purpose-serving uh, uh, tool or instrument. You have also the states and also the other stakeholders, the banks explaining it. It proves that all stakeholders seem to see the purpose similarly, and therefore it definitely serves the objective. And, uh, and therefore, bringing the bank or the states here gives a greater sense of reassurance that what you're doing is actually aiming at um, serving and serving better. I don't want to get into the details of how much is being transferred from center through the center centrally sponsored schemes. Somewhere, if I track uh, from uh, some other conversation, about 4,46,000 crores go through the centrally sponsored schemes. And this is not at all a small amount. And, and if today you are in a position to track that money in a year moving to the states and from states further down to the district, from district further down to the village level, it is a huge success in making governance transparent. If that quantum of money 
is also equally sent just in time. I hope that just in time idea actually gets ignited in all our minds. You're not delaying the money. You're not giving it in advance. You're not telling them, hold on. It just is possible to reach in time. What better value realization for every rupee cent? That is, I think, the core message if you're dealing with public finance. I'm sure it is the core message when you deal with your own money. But just in time is the magic three word. Three words which serve the purpose of explaining what single nodal account can do. And I think in this day and age, using technology, open and transparent way of just in time reaching is the story of today. And that is what I want to appreciate uh, for the contribution that Department of Expenditure has contributed in getting this out. But, you know, I get very excited when I understand these sort of things, the way in which too many, you know, jugglery of words happen because people like you all who are in the trade, in the business, who are also doing this will certainly understand it. But today, I know uh, Finance Secretary has already taken the name of uh, the official, but I'm also compelled to take the name of the same official, Sajjan Yadav, for having written about it this morning. I want to tell you all, I honestly want to tell you, for people like me to speak about it like this, I, I take a while to get the briefing, understand, and also hands-on see through some people that this is how it's going to work. But people like you who are the officials who are executing this at the state level or at the national level or at the district level, if you in the local languages write about what this is, this is nothing that anyone is restricting the money which are due to be reaching different beneficiary and different uh, beneficiaries through the various schemes. If it can be so efficient, and if it is actually bringing the total value realization for, you know, there were days when you wondered where that one rupee went or when one rupee, 16 paisa only ultimately goes to the, you know, beneficiary and so on. Here is a way in which you're explaining how that money is reaching in time for the program for which it is meant and post which it touches the beneficiary. I want, I mean, I was very impressed about this piece which was written by Sajjan Yadav this morning in the newspaper. Similarly, I request officers from the states in your respective languages or people here uh, must frequently write about these sort of things so that governance becomes interesting even for common people. And there are times when after the budget people have asked me questions about, you come out with so many different documents. Only one is really useful. I was just talking, sitting next to the finance secretary, saying this actually gives a one side of the story of the outcome budget. You, through the year, know what is going, where is it going, which money re reached where. The other is, which is what finance secretary highlighted to me, in the out outcome budget, you will know how many lengths of roads were finished, how many beneficiaries got this, or which check dam was built with that money, and so on. So really, one side of the coin through the year is now happening and there for all of us to see. The other side is what is going to get tied up when the outcome budget is printed out every year. So if there is greater and greater move towards transparency, greater and greater move towards being open about what is happening, I think all of us feel lots more, lots more empowered. And therefore, without getting into more details, I appreciate every one of you who have really contributed to this uh, you know, major step in public finance and also the Capacity Building Commission for having worked together with the ministry in getting the materials for the training prepared. I honestly request every officer to use this opportunity and go through the training module because it's going to be absolutely necessary. It is online. It is something which you can do from anywhere. You don't need to be spared from your work. So I got is the name and I thought it was a very nice uh, acronym because it is 
um, garment on online training integrated is it that i is integrated but it is so small the i is small was it for just the design so it's integrated garment online training right you can do it from anywhere do it and you will feel a lot more empowered so thank you for all the efforts and thank you for being here today but azadi ka amrit mahotsav can only be with each one of you all contributing to it and we look forward to a great enterprising and enthusiastic and motivating amrit kal so that when in 2047 we talk about india you know who are all making the difference each one of you all are making the difference jai hind